What is up and welcome back to another episode of modifying my off-road Subaru Forester. So after this last couple of adventures, we're back in the garage doing some more modifications to the Forester. So today we'll be doing something pretty cool and something I've actually been hiding or I've had for a while. I just haven't had all the stuff to do it. We'll be installing this. Well, there you go. We'll be installing an antenna on my Subaru specifically for UHF and VHF radios because as you guys know, this is what I use on the trail. And as you can see, this is a small antenna. When you're doing radio calls down the forestry roads, this doesn't have a lot of range, especially on some of those more windy roads um, that we were at just a few episodes ago. So today we're gonna be installing an antenna for the radio so that we can hook up the handheld radio to the antenna. We'll also be deleting our battery on that. We'll actually just be using a little 12 volt two radio adapter so that when we have it in the car, we don't have to rely on batteries. And that's great for some of our longer overlanding like five and six day um, trips that we're definitely planning on doing a little bit later. But before we get into installing it, let's take a closer look at what we'll be installing. So this is actually a tri-band radio. So it does the VHF, UHF, and then also 70 centimeters, which is kind of an odd one. I want expandability as I will eventually be putting in a more portable radio in this car or a more mobile one for specifically for vehicles. Um, I actually wanted a longer whip, but the longest you can get is a 38 inch. Um, which makes sense because we're not doing CB in this car. And because we're mounting this to the car, we'll actually be using an NMO mount, um, which allows us to essentially throw a hole right here, because of course I got to mount it on the bumper, and then mount it right there. And with that, we'll actually be using this connector here. So this, obviously, um, this connects into two pieces. You drill a hole, I'll go through that in a second, and then you mount it on, and then you run this right to your radio. So now we know what we're installing in the Forester, let's go ahead and start installing it. Going through it in my head, I think it's pretty easy, but you know how stuff goes working on these cars. It's a, you think it's gonna be a five minute job and it ends up being a four hour job. So first things first, as I said, we're going to be mounting, obviously, the mount. Um, and this thing will break into two, I can actually do this right here, is it'll break into two pieces. And that's when you actually go ahead and you drill your um, three quarter of an inch hole. This mounts into it and then this goes on the top and screws in this little ring here. And then from this ring, this is where you mount your actual antenna. And then all you gotta do is run this cable into the inside and mount it into your car and you should be good. So let's see if it goes that well. And now with my spot marked out and punched, it should be just as easy as drilling that out first with a little pilot hole and then with my three quarter of an inch hole and then we should be able to just mount it up like that. And with it cut out, and I made sure that the mount will actually fit through this, we're going to apply a little bit of paint so it doesn't rust around this edge, and then we are ready to mount it up. And while the paint was drying on the front bumper, what we did is we ran our line, or our cable, from where the antenna is into the cab of the car. As we have a few accessories like the ARV pump and a couple other things, we actually have some lines running into the car already, so it wasn't too bad to figure out where to run this one. So we just came up around the um, front of the bumper and then up and around by the pump and then followed the pump line all the way back and then got it through the little grommet in the firewall. And to get it through the firewall, there's a little trick I use. Um, I essentially just take our whatever we're trying to run through, wrap it in some of this like steel wire and then black tape around it, and then put some like Vaseline or whatever on it, and then you just can pull it through the grommet without having to make a new bigger hole. Um, and it keeps that grommet still nice and sealed with your other accessories. So we got this, we just gotta continue pulling it through the cab um, so we get all the excess wire into the cab. And then what we gotta do is essentially just run it up into our radio mount, which is right here. And with the line ran in the car, it's as simple as going ahead popping this up through the hole, taking your thing that mounts to it, and making sure your line is where you want it. So, yep, that is. Tightening it down. You wanna make sure this is nice and tight so that your antenna doesn't go flying off when you're driving. And there we go, we have our antenna mount installed. Now it's time to actually put the antenna on here. And while installing the antenna is the easy part, you simply Screw it onto your mount. I'm gonna try to make sure the sticker is hiding. We'll see how well that works. But just screw it onto the base like that. And there you go. 
you now have an antenna on your front bumper. And just like that, we have our antenna that goes to its connector and then the wire runs all the way across the engine bay, along here, along here, and then into the grommet. And then from the grommet under the steering wheel and then that runs all the way across the center console to under here. You can just see a little bit of extra wire sitting there. And then the cable runs from there right to where our radio is mounted. And with that being said, we have one last thing to do before we have upgraded our radio system in our Subaru Forester. So what we're gonna do is we have to go ahead and replace the battery pack with the 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, that we will be running from the rear little um, cubby. We'll be running the 12 volt from there up to where our radio is. So let's go ahead, put that in and then wrap this up. And well, there we go. We have the battery replacement right here that runs to the 12 volt. So what happens is it runs all the way under here and then under the center console, I just tucked it under here where my light is sitting just under here. So you don't even see it as it runs all the way across. And what we got to do is pop the battery off of my radio here and go ahead and put the new one on, easy as that. And well, there we don't have a battery now on our radio, which now we'll let this run anytime the car is on and it actually will stay off. So as soon as I turn the car, it will turn on. As soon as the car turns off, it will stay off. So got to undo this and go ahead and plug in our antenna. Oh, a little more cable. And there we go. We have our antenna and our radio upgrade on our Subaru Forester. So as I said, that's going to improve the range a lot, especially when we're going down some of those forest roads and we're calling as we're going down or up them. Um, also, I won't have to rely on batteries on my main radio because, well, we'll have it plugged into the car. And then eventually when I upgrade to a bigger radio, then I can plug it directly into the radio and it will be good. So yeah, there we go. Another quick modification. We have a couple more of those before we go on our next adventure, so we'll look out for those. And one more thing before we go, remind you guys that Flat Four has got a few of these left. You want to grab these before we have to reprint them, which will be a little bit, but these are three inch decals. Um, really nice stickers, high quality. They'll last for a long time. Austin's had his on for months on his um, Jeep, so you'll know they'll last for a long time. But that is going to be it for today's episode. So as always, peace out and stay humble.